Hey guys, it's Void Concept here. Welcome back to another Storytime Saturday. So, I know I've been talking about archery a lot for the last couple weeks, and I really meant to talk about something else this week, but today was a slightly abnormal day at the archery range, so I'm going to talk about it instead. Um, so, the first off, I didn't get much shooting done today because I was helping one of the... Uh, kids in my Boy Scout troop with his archery merit badge. Sadly, he didn't make the score, uh, so he's going to come back at a, another time and shoot, uh, hopefully better. He got discouraged about halfway through and just gave up. Um, so, that's not really... Well, that's what kept me from shooting um, today, but really wasn't what I was going to talk about today. Today, uh... A former shooter of the archery range, who I had never really met before, um, named Justin Hewish, showed up at the range. Justin was the last U.S. Olympic archer to get gold. And I'm not sure when it was. It doesn't see... Oh, 1996. So, yeah, that was a long time ago. I was three when he won gold, and he came out there today. And he hadn't... He's quit archery for a long time now, and um, he said that the last time he picked a, a bow was one and a half years ago, and before that was like two and a half years. So he's been gone for a while. Uh, but... He got his start, I believe, at the archery range that I shoot at. So, yeah, a lot of people knew who he was, like the coaches. And, of course, it was my dad who uh, convinced him to come out here finally. He and my dad used to work together at my dad's old job, um, where I'm not sure what exactly Justin does, but he... Um, it's not the same department. My dad just found out that he worked there and slowly tried to convince him to come out to the range. And finally he did. And I guess the Olympics were was what uh, pushed him to come out here. Um, and yeah, it was just kind of cool to see a gold medalist that got his start at our range. And we actually had a plaque for him from way back in 1996, uh, just before he like disappeared from archery. He he got fed up with the 12 hours a day that you had to spend to get to Olympic level, and so he hasn't shot at all. And um, yeah, had a plaque from 1996 that we finally gave to him. 16 years later. That, yeah, it's just kind of weird. Um, so, let's see. I'm going to read this Wikipedia article. Uh, and, yeah, I, I did hear of this story, though. Uh, that he used to practice by standing on his neighbor's lawn shooting arrows across the street, through the front door of the garage, through the back door of the garage, and into the target in his backyard. That's read straight from Wikipedia. And actually, I have heard that before, and it just shows you that you can shoot pretty much anywhere. We've got a small 18-meter range on our side yard, which I don't know if you guys have heard my dad shooting out there before, slightly. Uh, especially with this mic, I it usually doesn't pick up very many noises, but when I had my Turtle Beach headset uh, and you was using that, it, you may have been able to hear it. Usually when he's out there, I cl try to close the window so you guys don't have to listen to it. But, yeah, I'm not sure what range that would be, if or like what distance that would be f shooting from your neighbor's yawn yard uh, into your backyard. I would guess it would be a pretty big distance, um, and yeah, it was just kind of cool to see him. He's really what brought the like laid-back style to the archery Olympics. 
now if you look at our current team I uh, the one of our guys Brady I don't remember his last name Brady Allison or something like that I'm not sure um, he he's totally redneck he in one of the uh, world competitions he had the big cowboy boots uh, he had a like a holster looking thing on his quiver and he had like bullet looking things uh, on his belt and of course the hat indoors and all that so yeah I've gone on for five minutes now well five minutes and 45 seconds in a couple seconds here <laughs> so I think I'm going to end it there I uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do for the background footage of this video. I haven't recorded it yet, but you'll see something, so it's not just my voice. Uh, anyways, thanks for listening, and I will see you guys later.